8.51, welcome back. It's time to get to the, to the best part of your Sunday, today's Sunday Funday moment. If you watched the Super Bowl last Sunday for the commercials, you may be surprised to know that one UTEP grad's work was featured during the big game. ABC 7's Iris Lopez introduces us to one of the creative minds behind E-Trade's Super Bowl commercial. It's today's Sunday Funday moment, sponsored by Sarah Farms. Ah, uh, they found me. Yeah. This was something mm -hmm. that we started working on August last mm -hmm. year and, you know, released for the Super Bowl. So it's been a, a long journey for that. And a long journey, indeed. Rolando Leel and his husband, Edgar Cavazos, grew up in El Paso and Juarez. After graduating from UTEP with a degree in marketing and management, Rolando was eager to put his degree to use. And I remember going to those advertising agencies and like without any experience, like, hey, can you hire me with my resume and everything? Uh, and of course, nobody hired me. Um, so that's when, you know, like we decided to move out of El Paso. And the couple had their eyes set on making New York City their new home. You know, coming to New York City, everyone is like, are you guys actually going to New York? Like, it's hard. Nothing is going to happen. It's impossible. Like, Fast forward nine years later, Rolando's most recent work as an account director for E-Trade would land him and his work on a spot during one of TV's most watched events, the Super Bowl. I touch every aspect of the, of the process from ideation all the way to production and post-production. So it's, it's very, very much the liaison between clients and, and media. So when you saw the, the commercial on the screen during the Super Bowl, how did, how did that make you feel? God, I was so excited. It was, it's just an accomplishment, you know, it's, it's just so much work that you put into and it's months and it's, it's basically, it's, it's just a long process for just 30 seconds to be on air. <laughs> and their advice for those who might be too afraid to take that leap is pretty simple. I always said that just go for it. Like they say, you know, if your dreams are scary, it's because it's, it's big, you know, and you should go and follow them. And don't take a no for an answer. I think it's, it's when someone says no and you say, why not? And why I cannot do it? And you just, just keep pushing. Iris Lopez. Things can happen. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> ABC 7.